Hey, hey welcome back everybody it's Shino and we're back in our modded to the max 2 world hope you're doing well I'm doing good uh, in this episode we're gonna start working on the footprint for our home area and also kind of building out our main base area I don't want to live in this little dirt hut anymore it's time to get something going Um, so each uh, each main mod that we're using, I think we're going to have its own little building, own little room kind of set up so we can kind of uh, look at it that way. You'll see here I've been doing a lot of uh, tree growing and planting, been gathering up seeds and trying to get a lot of different tree varieties growing in this area. We'll go over all of that in more detail. Um, but I have added a few more mods. Now, the new list of total mods in this game has now reached 65. Uh, I've added into it expanded foods and uh, also a culinary artillery mod. Those kind of work together. They're by Leapman and many, many other contributors. Uh, these added additional cooking tools, mechanics, recipes. I've also added in Millwright by Spear and Fang. Uh, it is a It allows for stronger and more powerful windmills. So instead of having just four fans on your windmills. You can have, uh, I don't know, like eight. It's pretty cool. Um, and then also a fun one, RPG Rarity and the Attributor uh, mod by you. Now this adds RPG or role-playing game style item classification with incre increased attributes. So if we take a look here, you'll see I've got an epic flint spear and I've also got a common flint spear and you'll see that the common flint, spe flint spear as 64 total durability and negative 2 HP attack power, where the epic one has 83 durability and negative 2.6 hit uh, on the attack power. So a little more powerful. You see 6 piercing and 5 piercing uh, when thrown. So um, the uh, higher tier that you get, and, and actually I have a legendary one, which is kind of cool. I've got a legendary 10 bronze shears. Look at that durability. 4,900 <laughs> on the durability that's crazy uh but everything every tool that you make or have uh ends up giving you uh one of these tiers on it so kind of a fun little thing to get i like it um let's see let's get some sleep in i'm still waiting for these to cool down for some projects i've got today so uh let me get some sleep in and then we'll come back and we'll get started talking about the base layout. Okay, be right back. Good morning. We are back. Another beautiful rainy day. Gotta love it. Um, let's get a look here from up top. Kind of get a look around. Not much has changed around here. You'll see I've been clearing out a little terrain. Um, you'll see I've got this little pit over here, and that's because I actually had a bear that spawned in uh, right over here in this area, and it actually was killing my animals. Um, I was able to cheese it back over to this side by throwing a couple spears at it. It got over here, and then I was able to kind of move myself away from it to get out of range. Um, and I dug a little pit, put that in there. He wandered around, or she wandered around. Uh, back out in that where over there um, and then I started throwing more spears at it chunking it and cheesed it all the way back over here to this pit um, it did not go in the pit <laughs> it killed me um, but I was able to come back and uh, it ended up wandering off I hit it with a couple more spears and then it ran off back yeah somewhere over there uh, I haven't seen it for a while I kind of snuck over there to kind of get a look and haven't seen it so I think we're okay now. Um, lots of tree planting going on. Let me slide down this ladder. A lot of tree planting going on. I've got Douglas firs over here. I've got my oaks over here. Oak, oaks are kind of hard to find. Let me tell you, I've been having some problem finding oaks. And uh, the ones that I did, uh, I'm not getting a lot of seeds off of them. So that kind of stinks. Uh, I have found some beautiful sycamores. Uh, so I brought them and planted them over here. I'm, I'm going to keep them spread out until I get a lot of seeds together on those. Um, and then I brought in and planted some of the big redwoods over here. And believe it or not, these were just planted with single seeds and they grew into the large ones, which is pretty cool. 
Um, and then we've got uh, cedar over here. And then I dug out this uh, little bit of tin that was over here. Actually, a lot of tin that's over here, but I've been digging it out. I needed a place for a pit kiln. So I got that in there. Um, then let's see, maples down here, some birch. Yeah, just planting as many different seeds as I can get, putting them around in different places. Now, this is kind of an interesting thing. So within, uh, within the mods that we have, we have the regrow resin mod, right? So uh, whenever you plant a tree, you have a chance of getting a resin block within that tree. Um, and with the carry capacity mod, you can actually modify the settings to allow you to move those um, and pick them up. So uh, if you are, I don't know if it'll let me do it on a normal one, but yeah, it won't let me do it on a normal one. But if you look at this one right here, see, I can shift click just like normal and I can put it on my back, right? So let me hit F5 and there, see, I got a resin log on my back. Pretty cool. And then when I'm done with it, I can pick it up and put it back down. This comes in really handy because if you need to have a resin farm built up and you remember from my Modded to the Max uh, series, the original, I had a resin farm that I built, uh, but we didn't have the regrow mod. So I had to run around and grab all those resin blocks and haul them back. Um, this is a lot easier having these two combined. So I don't see any on here. I demonstrate a new one. Don't see any on this one either. Uh, you will get them either off the Douglas Spurs or off of the pines. And I think there's one more tree that you can get them from. I can't remember. Uh, anyways, um, that's been very helpful. I've gone through and I've put down a couple of little signs here, like storage area. So I think I'm going to end up putting my storage area like right here. Um, this is of course going to be the house and I'll hop up here so you can kind of see what I've done so far. These are just pine logs that are debarked. Um, so that's kind of the layout I got going on so far. Um, I've got, this is an idea that I got actually from Blue Nerd who does Minecraft builds and, and he had this uh, medieval house build and I thought, I think I can do that in vintage story. So I'm going to try to bring that in here. Uh, in addition, you'll see I've got, uh, let's see, a little area over here that says for the animal farms. So we're going to have to bring the animals over here. And uh, let's see, I think I had an area, it was over here. I've got an area set up for an area marked, designated for, yeah, maybe. Uh, anyways, for farms, uh, i got an area that I want to have some farms put in at. I'll back up here, see if I can see it. Uh, farms are over there. Run, rabbits. Yeah, greenhouses, farms, etc. It's going to be kind of all over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a central storage area um, that'll kind of be here in the middle. And then... Uh, the buildings are kind of going to go around the courtyard area all the way around this area. And we'll have inside here, we'll just pretty much get rid of all the grass. Um, and we'll have uh, some uh, uh, gravel, things like that going through here. So that's what I'm kind of working on right now is kind of the next step of getting this ready. And that is um, I'm going to be using a lot of items from the... Uh, quarry mod. So if we go to stone quarry uh, is the mod that we're going to be making stuff out of. Specifically, we're going to be doing the stone cutting. Um, so this is where we can get the stone slabs. You get the stone, stone slabs from uh, using a hammer and the plugs. Uh, so I got to make the plugs up here next. Um, and then you can use the finishing chisel uh, to get polished stone, you can use the wedge to get you bricks. Um, you can use the rough cut chisel uh, to get rock, and you can use the rubble hammer um, to get stone. But then you can also continue with the rubble hammer to turn that into gravel and also into sand. So that's going to be pretty good. So basically, we can go into an area, quarry out a large area, area um, using the plugs, 
And then we can go back in and then use those slabs to turn it into whatever else we want to have. So uh, we're going to be using a lot of smooth stone. We're going to be using a lot of polished stone. We're going to be using a lot of bricks on here. So I thought, yep, stone quarry is what we definitely want to go with. Uh, let's see, this splitter plugs. There we go. So there's three. I need to make another set of those. Um, and I can do that. Um, we could probably just chis or uh, hammer those out, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, we're also going to need to make the for the rubble storage. It's going to require for each one of these. It requires a plate. So I think I want to make two, three plates. I'm going to make two plates. Um, and those need to be copper. You can't upgrade that, so yeah, needs to be copper plates. So I'm gonna need to make two copper plates, which means I'm gonna need four ingots. I'm gonna use have to use. I don't have any malachite either. Okay. All right. So let me go gather up some more copper, and then I'll come back and we'll get started on construct. I'll go ahead and get all the pieces together, and then we'll craft it all when we get back. All right. All right, see you soon. Several days later. Um, so I have updated to version 118.8 and the dot, uh, the dot net seven framework uh, for the latest version of Vintage Story. Um, and that's a scary thing to do when you have a lot of mods. And I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I think I got 64 or 65 mods going right now uh, in this game. So that's a little scary when you make an upgrade like that. Um, I did check, and it looks like uh, when I went to load in, I did update as many mods as I could find uh, that had been updated, and uh, for, at least from their last update. Not all of them had been updated to 118.8 yet. Um, but there was two mods that I did uh, from the initial load of mods that I had uh, when I loaded this game up, it caused fatal crashes. And that was a teleportation network. Um, and I don't know if it was teleportation network or if it was the common library file uh, that goes along with it. But you, you have to have both um, to make the teleportation network work. So it could have been one or the other. Um, my initial thought was it was a teleportation network. But, I mean, it could be that it was a call uh, or a function that was needed by common library that it wasn't getting. Uh, the other one was a simple HUD clock. That's what's up in my upper left-hand corner up there on the screen. Uh, that was not working. and I, I, I can't function without that one. So I went ahead and updated them and uh, got them uh, installed to the latest version. Uh, now, neither one of those at the time I did this had been updated to version 118.8. I think it was 118.5, uh, 118 118.6, somewhere along there. Um, but, uh, I did get them updated. So that's all I found so far. I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, but you know, be certain it, that I'll keep you up to date on any of the vintage story mods, um, as they progress, as they have problems, uh, keep it here. Gation is turned on and I will keep you up to date on mod changes to be certain. Been doing a lot of cleaning around here, clearing stuff out, getting stuff kind of ready. And I've been working on the house over here, but we're going to go check that out once uh, once the morning comes along. Okay, so let me get back inside here and uh, I'm going to make my backpack. Actually, I guess I could do a little bit of talking before we get into this, huh? Okay, so I did do uh, a lot of mining and fire clay gathering up. You'll see I've got a copper chest now. I've been able to upgrade it, uh, but I have found uh, iron. Uh, it was a surface deposit in a cave, right? So we went into a cave, stuck my head in, saw something dark uh, on a piece of stone, went down there to take a look at it, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, I found some uh, iron. Uh, that was this one here. The, uh, no, that was this one here. Uh, this one here, the limonite. The hematite, that was a fun one because I actually, I had fallen, I was running uh, and I fell into a water hole that had uh, it was one of those deep water areas, and I loved those. So I dove down into it and actually saw that on the surface. Uh, came back up, got myself a breath, went back in, knocked out a little area, and mined up some of that. There's more down in that area uh, that I found it. 
Uh, let's see. What do I need for making my backpack? Right there. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. And we got one, two, three. Now we can start upgrading our inventory. Oh, this is going to feel so good. Add something in it. We'll put you down here. Put you down there. Looks like just that one and that one. Oh, man, that feels so much better. Can I recover those? Doesn't look like it. They may get burned. That's what I usually do with that kind of stuff. Okay, let me uh, sleep this night, and uh, then we'll go out and we'll take a look at the house. All right, be right back. All right, good morning. Uh, you'll see on the little effects tab over there, I've got it back now. I've got the well-rested effect going on, which basically means anything I do after being well-rested uh, gives me like bonus experience points towards X skills. So that's good. There we go. I uh, got some barrels out here for some strong tannin, but that's for something else besides leather. Uh, we'll take a look at the house here in just a second. I want to get around this corner here. Uh, I did get a charcoal pit in, and it looks like it's done, so I can get that taken care of. Um, I also got some fire clay bricks made because I need to make some bloomeries now that I've got iron. And then I've got some more molds in here that are done now. Uh, the mass plate mold, that's going to be nice for making a bunch of plates at once. And then I got another one for spiles. All right, so here's the house. I did work on this a lot. Uh, you'll see I've got a lot of different blocks here. And you'll notice if you look off in the distance over here, uh, you'll see most of that tower's gone. I've been exploiting it for all these additional blocks that I needed uh, for using over here. The rest is limestone. A lot of this uh, plain block, I had to use just through quarrying methods. And I've been using the stone quarry mod. Um, and that's where you get these uh, medium stone slabs, uh, small stone slabs from. So I'm going to show you how this works. Let me gather up my stuff and we'll go over to the little quarry area. And we'll kind of get a little showing up. Be right back. Okay, so this is where I have been over here doing my quarrying at for limestone. I've been getting it from different spots around here, but you'll see I've got this nice big area taken care of here. And we'll kind of show how this works. What you'll need to do is find an area like, let's say this one right here, right? Pop up like this. And I've got these little things called these splitter plugs. I'm going to take the splitter plug, I'm going to put it into the stone there, and then I'm going to hammer it. Uh, actually, let's go down here first. And I'm going to put another one down here. Now, these are a real-world item. What they do is they actually go into the stone and cause the stone to fracture. So I'm going to hit a couple times there, and that's going to go in. And then I'm going to hit these a couple times. Boom. And it knocks it off. And what you get in exchange is going to be that thing right there. A stone slab. Pretty cool. And I can take that back. And that stone slab has four limestone in it. So instead of having to do, you know, every other block, boom, 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 boom do like a little checkerboard pattern, you can come in here and, and take care of it like this. So if you take your ladders, do a bigger area, shall we? Let's see. We'll do here. And one, two, three, four. Each type of uh, plug that you use gives you an, a different uh, result as far as... You know, how big of a chunk that you can do. That's all dirt there. I don't want to go any farther that way. We'll just do this one right here. Okay, so now we're going to hit these. You'll see that kind of the first time you hit it, it takes two animations to get it to go all the way down. One, two... There you go. Pretty cool. So you can see now I've got one that has four and I've got another one that has 16 on it. Uh, this works pretty good. I think the biggest I can do with these plugs is a four by four by four. 
So if I want to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and go back that way, I could do a big section there. If you do an area that has different rock types in it, uh, you'll still get the same result. So you'll get what you'll end up with is a slab that will have both stone types in it. And I'll show that once we get back over to the base. All right, here we are back at the base. So now we can take this. I've got a couple of them that are sitting out here, but now you can just deploy these just like that. They operate one spot, but they've got multiple. You can see in the tool tip, 16 limestone, that one, four in that one. That one has 24. This one has 36. That one has 16. That one has 16. If they have the same amount, they will stack. So if I were to take that one, that one, and that one together, that all three of them would stack in there as one. So that comes into handy. And then here's one you see. I've got one slate and 23 limestone in it. Okay. So to get the stone out of it that you want, you've got a couple of tools. And we're going to use the uh, finishing chisel and we're going to use the rough cut chisel. And you're going to have to put a hammer over in your uh, offset hand there. And then depending on how you use this, if you look at the tool tip for uh, the, the block itself, it tells you that you can cut polished rock. Uh, you can cut normal rock. You can cut stones if you use the rubble. Or you can do bricks. Uh, and I don't have my... I haven't started going into making bricks yet. I've just been getting bricks from all these different buildings that are laying around. Let's take this one right here that has four on it. And if I hit this using the... Um, what is this one called? The finishing? Yeah, the finishing chisel. Watch this. Bop, bop, bop. Okay. So now I've got polished stone there. I got polished stone from that one. Uh, same thing on this one. If I want to go one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then say I want to swap over and use the rough cut chisel. I can hit that. And now I'm getting the smooth or the stone. Uh, just like if I had worked it as free stone. Uh, so this is a way that you can get through a lot of the stone you need in a much faster period of time. This is making uh, having to build this go a lot quicker. And I'm so thankful for this mod. Uh, keep watching for it. I would have a mod spotlight video that's going to be out shortly. Um, well, shortly. Shortly in the manner that uh, Shino thinks of things. <laughs> it could be several months. Uh, but anyway, so I've just been coming through here and putting in different variations. Uh, I try to wait and do a lot of like the smooth stone last because even with the smooth stone, um, once it's been deployed like this, it works the same way as any of the other smooth stone that we have in the game. So if I were to put it down and then decide, ooh, you know, I don't want one there. If I were to hit that with a chisel, it's gonna come back as the little stone. So I don't want that in a lot of, uh, that's what I've been doing here is going through and dropping in some of what I want and then finding the, the void and filling it with the other stone. Pretty cool, I like it. All right, this is coming along pretty good. I still got a lot of stone to get and uh, gather up, but I'll keep working on that uh, between episodes. So everybody have a good time. This is Shino and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.